Hello YouTube, it is me, Mortavius the Mad, and I am again in um, Conan Exiles. Now, uh, last time we built that tower and I said that I was going to go and build um, the uh, a new settlement on those two cliffs. Well, I've been busy, very, very busy. Yeah, I forgot to put up the the last video. Uh, not long, you know, not long after I started construction. But uh, but yeah, I spent pretty much all of last night um, building that. It's not finished yet. It's still a, uh, a work in progress. I'm building the whole cliff side, the cliffside city type stuff. So we're gonna go, and we are going to. Uh, <clears throat> To um, take a tour of, of what I've done so far, just to show you what, what what some of the crazy crap you can build. Now I made a because uh, that house right there is ac gives access to the entire city. I've I've made it pretty fortified. It's it's pretty strong, you know, to withstand attack. And then I'm gonna. You know, create other buildings and stuff off of it. I've laid a big foundation because I'm going to have like ledges and and other things, you know, for uh, for defense. And then, of course, here's the door. And Thor, no, my friend's dog. dog um all right so here we are we're inside the the uh elevator house i'll have like some thralls in here to to deal with defense and and other stuff and then of course there'll be like areas and supplies and stuff in here so when you come down from the city you can you know grab there'll be stuff here to to help resupply and whatever. So mainly this is going to be a way station primarily. And then the way I have this is you open the door, you pull the lever there, and the basket is very slow, but you can see it making its way down. And so you just wait right here. Lovely elevator. With spikes and shit. <laughs> and here it comes. There it is. The elevator. Right? Look at that beautifulness. There. And then we click the lever and we're on our way up. From the elevator house to the city. Well, there's, there's a couple of waypoints. I had to build a couple places up the side of the cliff first. There's actually two elevators I need to reach. Over on that side, I managed to get one elevator that will go all the way down. And I'll show you that as we go through the, the city. As you can see, we're nice and, and high up. Falling from this height would be a bad thing, and there's really nothing you know, blocking me if I make a misstep. There we are. We're at the door. And I walk in. And I close the door. <coughs> and this will be a guard barrack. So I'll have some thralls and stuff here as well as a, a, another part of the waypoint. And I have a small elevator in here for, if this is, since it's a guild setting, I'll have guild rooms. 
upstairs. Oh, I got that. Lovely little elevator. So we'll have like, you know, ro private rooms for for people here. You know, for role playing if the heads of the guards would be in these rooms. And then, of course, a nice little open area. <clears throat> and then back down we go. And then you can just put the elevator back. Isn't that lovely? And then this is another elevator. Did I get the thing right? Oh, damn it. Hang on. All right, well, I gotta do this. There. Okay, so the elevator's going down. Elevator. Wow, look at that hairy ass back crack. That's, I'm not sure I like that, man. The hairy back crack. That's, that's, uh, wish I could shave that shit. Man. It's so nasty looking. All right, here we go. Up the elevator to the next part of the city. And here we are. We're in the top of the the city. Well, what's going to eventually be the city? I'm going to have shops and 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 like that's going to be a tavern over here. Uh, this is going to be uh, like a metal shop forge area. And I'm going to do. I'm going to have some stuff out here. There's a little outdoor forging and indoor forging. And uh, I've got other stuff like that. I've got uh, this. I'm not sure what I'm going to turn this building into yet, but uh, I'll turn it into something. I'll add the doors and all the other stuff later. Of course, I'll have fencing on the areas where the, the building isn't so people don't fall off because uh, while while we have the, the guard thing down there, falling on it would, would be okay. Um, it would be a bad, bad, bad thing to to fall the rest of the way down because I'm I'm pretty high up. Man, got a lot of a lot of highness. Yes, jumping, jumping would be would be death. Death. Although at the very edge over here, I might test to see if people can survive a jump in water, and then because from this point. <coughs> you'd be able to jump all the way down into the water and uh, I might try it a little later who knows after I get done building all this stuff and uh, so these are the three buildings this is the tavern or it's going to be the tavern I'll have like the, the main bar thing there and then I'll have all of the tables and stuff here, and, and it'll be a, a nice little, you know, place for some RP and stuff. And then, of course, through here, if, if you know, you'll require, like, guild access, because this will be the guild living quarters and stuff are going to be over there. So that's what we do. And then where's the little, the little uh, thing? And then we go across. Oh, and we have a well there too. So, yeah. do, 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 do. it's a long way down. Look at that. That is a long ass way down. And so we come to the second part of what I'm still constructing, obviously, as uh, the settlement part, the housing and other part. Um, this is going to be. Uh, I might put some other stuff for the public here too, who knows, but it's mostly going to be living areas and, and stuff like that for, for uh, 
peeps and, and other things. So, but yeah, so we have, we have uh, these buildings. This is going to be, you know, uh, somebody's somebody's nice little apartment. Probably the the innkeeper style deal. The bed will go in there, and and then uh, we have other stuff. Just a place, and then we have the main inn part. This will be like a. A small summer area with, with rec room type of thing. And then here is other rooms. So these will be more guild quarters. As you can see, rooms for people. And this is the con gonna be the common area. And then Oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Be the common area, and then this leads up to here, where I'm. I'm still. <coughs> this is also for like guild officer type deals, you know. Rooms for for people to stay in more more little house room areas. And of course, out here is the common area. You got a statue of refreshment for water, and then of course the the stairwell, the stairwell that goes down. So there'll be three people that'll live up here in a nice little area, nice and, and high. I'm still building that stuff down there, uh, as you can see, and I still got a bunch of other stuff to build. But I figured I'd, I'd uh, show you guys what I've been up to in Conan. Conan. So yeah, so that would be like the uh, primary, one of the primary guild houses. And then down here is another common area. So I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a building down here or not. Um, I might just have uh, like make this an outdoor shop area or outdoor crafting area or whatever I'm, I'm still not sure I'm still kind of debating on, on how to design it and then uh, down here you got more stuff and then there's going to be I think I'm going to make this into a like a common area too for uh, like if they have farming and, and other stuff um, that they come up with, I'll probably wind up putting some of that stuff over here. And then I might build, I might, I might build, uh, maybe, I might do a building or something else here too, I'm not sure. But yeah, so we have this part, and I extended it. So now we have extra, extra building space. Down there, is the other gatehouse <laughs> and I'm going to you know add a little bit more defenses and stuff there too I've got areas for the thralls to to stand and guard and, and do all that and of course that's another building that I'm working on um, to, to get done but but yeah I, I like this uh, so far I, I re I'm really enjoying the building in, in, in Conan you can do a lot of stuff with it. Love the elevators. I love the elevators. You know, just go right up here, and I'll, you know, I'll give you the last little tour, and then we'll go down to the uh, the other gatehouse and show you that. And basically, the gatehouses are just buildings to fortify and 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 demand and protect the elevators. So that people just can't come up in your city and, and you know do shit. They're gonna have to break down the 
other buildings first. This is going to be another building that's kind of like that, where I've already I've already laid the foundations and the floors, and uh, I'm getting ready to to build that. And this one's going to be a, I don't know if I'm going to make it an inner or a private residence. We'll figure it out. But yeah, so this is going to be. I think it's just going to be like a private residence. This might be like a guild leader residence or something else like that. So, you know, this would be the, the downstairs area. And I'm probably going to build and put another story on top of it. You know, and that'll be that. And I'll have like a little apartment there. And we'll have multi-unit multi, multi -unit dwellings here. And, and here is the back alley that uh, leads to the elevator. Thank God the doors don't knock you off, huh? And down we go. To the next way, way house. So yeah, so these will these, be areas that are set up that uh, I mean, I might knock the things down and turn each of these into inns. I'm not sure. But uh, right now, I like them as way houses because it, 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 it fits better because I have the inns and stuff over there. Uh, so this would be more like a guild. Instead of a public way house, this would be like a guild way house. I'll build walls and, and barriers and stuff for that and make like a, a small settlement here. So... Mm -hmm. Anybody living in these way houses would uh, basically be gate gatekeepers, and they'd have, you know, thralls to help them keep the entryway into the the town uh, reasonably safe at these access points. So here we are. This house is not the best. It was basically just to fortify stuff. As you can see, it's uh, small, got a little thing there. And the main living quarters would be probably upstairs, and you have a small room here for bed and you know for other stuff that you need to put there. So you can set up like you know pretty much everything you need in, within reason within the house. It's good for one person, you know, or maybe two people, or a couple people. But you'd have thralls to guard this elevator. <clears throat> and then when they come out with the door locks and all the other stuff, you know, that door would be locked except for people who had access to that specific entrance. So, yeah. And there, there it is. There is the, the way house. Right there. And, of course, we're, we're out here. So, yeah, we're going to run over here. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to close the door. Fuck you. So long, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. Do 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 do. And away I go. And so that's that's pretty much the tour. That is the tour of uh, El Casa de Mortavius, the mad. Mortavius El Loco. That is me. So yeah, I got some wonderful stuff here. I mean, this is a, you know, a nice place to build a city. You got stuff around, you grab eggs and all kinds of other stuff, monsters to kill, yada, yada, yada. But... Yeah, this is it. This is this is uh, the city in progress. In the you know, not bad. It's a nice base. It's a lot of fun. So we'll have all this stuff done and. We can just uh, head over here and uh, yeah. 
And here we go. Leaving leaving the area. So that is that is what we've got. That's what I have built. So I figured that I would I would show you guys what I've been up to in Conan. And what you can actually do with Conan as opposed to dark and light. Uh, the the kind of crazy stuff that you can build. You know, just awesome crazy crazy stuff. You know, it's it's and I haven't even scratched the surface. They're adding in all kinds of, you know, other stuff like farming and, and, and stuff like that and thrall control. I can't wait to see what they're going to add next in this game. You know, like I said, it's, 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 it's a real difficult choice between uh, Dark and Light and Conan because Conan is such a nice, you know, they're both really nice games. And I enjoy them. There's aspects about each of them that I, that I really enjoy. But uh, I'm probably going to let you guys go and wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gives you guys maybe some ideas for what you might like to try in, in either game, with Conan specifically, or you know, possibly in Dark and Light if they ever get their shit together. You know, and, and, and I don't have any of those geometry bugs. Um, so... Uh, this has been Mortavius the Mad. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for subscribing, all of you that have subscribed. Uh, if you like the, the, this video, uh, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you uh, feel that you would like to see what I'm up to um, uh, later on, definitely uh, hit subscribe. And, uh, and it'll pop up a little notification whenever I, whenever I uh, put something up, which is really nice. I kind of like that. That's, that's, that's not bad. So I will see you all next time. Peace out, Boy Scouts.